Hi guys. So some Diddy update. So apparently, first of all, his sons apparently got into some weird fight with this guy, Ray J. Remember Ray J? Even I know Ray J. Ray J um, is the guy who Kim Kardashian made that very sort of, you know, risque tape with. And then they, based on that tape, she was able to turn it into a billion dollar, like, you know, empire for herself and her family. Like, you know, the tape, then she sold, they sold the tape or whatever. Then they got the keeping up with the Kardashians. And then from there, they became rich. All of this because of a tape that, well, I don't know if all of it, I mean, it's not fair to say that. I mean, obviously they had some talent uh, aside from the tapes. But the tapes were catalytic in getting her career launched. And it was with this guy, Ray J, who is the younger brother of this girl, this woman, Brandy, who was a star back in the 80s or 90s or whatever it was. So even I know the name Ray J. I don't know what he does now. Apparently, he's a star in his own right. And he had some kind of fight with Diddy's sons. They went to some Halloween party. And I guess the sons didn't like what Ray J said. So all three of them, there's Justin, there's Quincy, and there's a third who um, apparently jumped on this guy, Ray J. They Apparently, they didn't really actually hit him. So there was no real assault. It was more of an attempt. And then they were the fight was broken up by, guess who? Chris Brown. Remember him? He's the guy who had hit allegedly, and I guess it's not alleged at this point, because I think he did some time for it, but correct me if I'm wrong. He did some time for something or he got probation. I don't even know, but he had hit Rihanna in the face. Remember that? This guy broke up Diddy's sons fighting this guy, Ray J, at a Halloween party. You can't make these things up. You can't make these things up. I don't understand this world. I don't want to understand it, but that's what happened. So anyway, other than that, two other things occurred in the Diddy case. One is that um, a whole bunch of lawsuits were filed by this lawyer down in Texas, this guy, Tony Busby, and he filed a whole bunch of anonymous Jane Doe cases against the music slash rap mogul. This guy here, the defendant, Sean Combs. And the judge in the case basically gave Busby till November to release the names of these Jane, Jane and John Doe's. The, the judge is like, you're not bringing any anonymous cases for these charges against this defendant because we have other people like Cassie Ventura, who he beat up in the hotel and he paid three, $30 million to in settlement. She came forward with her name and another individual I mean, you'd have to ask um, Tisa what her name is. Tisa is up on all these things. Um, she gave her name, but you want to be anonymous. It's not going to happen because in our judicial penal system, a defendant has the right to face his or her accusers and there needs to be transparency so that we can all get to the truth. So you either re release these names or the case is permanently dismissed. I was like, and so that would be sua sponte. That would be sua sponte, which means that the, the judge does it spontaneously by him or herself without the defense asking for it to be dismissed. Sua sponte dismissal. So I asked that question just the other day of myself. I'm answering it now. Yes, the judge can dismiss a criminal case sua sponte. Now, so there's that. So um what else happened? Um, what else happened was that according to NBC News, um, the prosecutors, you know how they threatened to, to, um, to file a superseding indictment against the defendant, um, for additional charges. Well, apparently, um, a grand jury has once again been convened in the Diddy case. There's a new grand jury hearing and they are listening to new evidence against Diddy as we speak, girls and boys. So I'm just like, 
Oh my goodness. Well, look, as I said, and I continue to say that I feel like uh, the, the current indictment is insufficient. And I think that the prosecution slash prosecutors need more, more meat on those bones. Right. And, um, it seems that they are working very hard at getting that meat. You know, they, they want to, um, to really beef up the indictment. So they have convened a new grand jury. Okay. Um, so it says here, NBC news has learned that a federal grand jury in the Southern district of New York is expected to hear new testimony on Thursday. Oh, they're going to hear new testimony on Thursday. I think, I mean, there's no question that they're going to, to say that, um, you know, charges should be filed against him. Right. Um, it says a federal grand jury in New York is hearing new evidence this week as part of an investigation. Attorney Ariel Mitchell told NBC News on Wednesday that a male client of hers is testifying before a grand jury in the Southern District of New York. I wonder who that could be. Some people are saying it's Justin Bieber, but I don't know. I don't know. A source familiar with the grand jury proceedings confirmed that a male is expected to testify Thursday. Combs's legal team did not immediately respond to a request for a comment. A spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office declined to comment. Mm. It says here that um, Combs has pleaded not guilty to charges of racketeering, sex trafficking, and transportation to engage in blah, blah, blah. It says Assistant U.S. Attorney Emily Johnson said at a hearing this month that a superseding indictment could affect the length of his trial, which is expected to begin May 5th. Combs is being held at Brooklyn's Metropolitan. Da, 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 da. So, boy, if that um, if that new, um, person is somebody like a Justin Bieber, then maybe I would say he's probably cooked, especially if Justin was under the age of consent, which it seems like when, you know, these allegations that are floating online, these are allegations. I don't know that these things are true, that somehow Usher and, and Diddy set up Justin and, um, you know, had their way with Justin and so on and so forth. I have, I hope, look, all I can do is hope that these are all horrific lies, because if this is true, obviously, and this, this, this young man was under the age of consent. I mean, for me, it's not a question of the, the same sex, whatever. I mean, that's not my business, but I mean, the idea is that this guy was 15. If he was 15, if this was true, then Diddy is done, I would say. Now I would say that he's done if this is true, right? Um so for his sake, I hope it's not it's not done. But anyway, you guys, listen, that's all for this one for this particular update on Diddy. Um see you in the next one. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get updates. Okay? Bye.